Hi everybody, it's me, the Chameleon Girl, Gina, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a couple of minutes, like, oh, I'm on. But anyway, I am back because I wanted to review Aunt Massey's Chitlin. So this is not so much of a tutorial, you know, this is going to be more of a review. If you guys are looking for a tutorial on how to clean chitlins, then I will link that below in the description box. But we want to see, are Aunt Bessie's chitlins really worth all the hype? Because I hear a lot of good things about these chitlins. And if you guys ever watched any of my other chitlin cleaning videos, then a lot of people have recommended to them to me. But let me tell you guys what I had to do to get these chitlins. I had to like go through mountains and valleys, almost literally. What I did was I drove 260 miles round trip to get these chitlins, believe me or not. But anyway, they're up in Denver, Colorado, and I don't live up there. I live um, south of Denver. I went you know, 130 miles up to Downing Grocery Store here in Colorado and 130 miles back. And so I may add the footage of the shopping experience at the grocery store because the meat man, I mean, he was just real cool. And I got some uh, other things, you know, that they had up there that is hard to find down here. And um, nonetheless, what I end up doing was calling him, I think it was on a Thursday. So it was a couple of Thursdays ago. And he told me that he would have to order them and they would be in on, I think he said that they would be in on Monday or something or Tuesday of that following week. But they weren't in on that day. And I understand things happen and thank God that they did end up coming in. But um, what happened was I finally got them, I think it was, uh, let me see, last Friday when I went up there, which, you know, at the end of the day, I still have plenty of time to be able to get these bad boys clean. But in reviewing these chitlins, I already cooked five pounds and they taste the same as any other chitlins. The difference between them and the bucket and most other bags is that they are super clean. Like they have the right to actually write that on their bag. Because I noticed like with Queenella and Uncle, um, what is his name, the chitlin man? No, no, not him. You talking about the grocer. The, um, uh, no, they're chitlins in the bag. Uncle, you guys, no, don't say that, girl. You, anyway, she is so silly. Uncle, not Uncle Ben, but anyway. Somebody in the comments knows. Somebody comment what is his name, these chitlins, anyway. The, they say that these chitlins are, their chitlins are so clean that all you have to do is take them out of the bag rinse them off and throw them in the pot and eat them and that's a lie and you know what i almost thought these people you know saying that and giving those kind of disclaimers almost need to go to jail for telling those kind of stories because that's wrong you know that could get somebody really really sick you know what i mean and so anyway with that being said i want to show you this is about as clear this is a con of these chitlins i don't like that the water is still cloudy in there no matter how much i did in my pre-wash and using the different solutions and stuff but as you guys can see the water is a little cloudy the smell is um not as intense as when you're cleaning you know any other chitlin that i've cleaned okay so for somebody you know this these chitlins would be good for somebody who does not like to clean chitlins I mean, like, almost despises the clean chitlin. And for somebody who has problems with chronic pain, because cleaning chitlins is uh, back-breaking work, but, um, you, you know, I, it, anyway, they would be good for somebody like that. Now, 
I'm not going to call the price of these chitlins a con. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because, see, although I had to travel so far to get them, and I paid $19 and change for one each five pound bag, it was still worth it. And I would do it again, and I probably will do it again for Christmas time because of the fact that they're just not nasty chitlins like that. Um, a con about these chitlins, which is not really a con, but they're shaped the same. Every chitlin is shaped like this, okay? Well, every chitlin and so far my, this is my third bag, is shaped like a sock. That's what somebody told me. So with that being said, it, it's just odd, you know what I mean, that every chitlin would be shaped the same and so have you. But anyway, what I'm going to do is show you guys just how clean they are by cutting off the toe of the sock portion of the chitlin. And then I'm going to just go in and because I want it to be flat instead of rounded so that I could be able to at the end, if you know me, you know, I like to hold it up to a light so that I can look through it. Now I'm holding it up to the light. This chitlin has not been cleaned, skinned, or even picked. I hope you guys can really see just how clean that chitlin is. Now, so all I'm going to do, just because this is a preference, okay, is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take off the, the membrane. See, and they, it's just kind of like they even come off easier. So then I want to hold it up to my light lampshade without the thing on it and just move on to the next one. So I, I don't like chitlins that are, you know, shaped like, you know, with the circle like this, basically. You know what I mean? Because it's not as easy to get in there. So somebody, I think her name was Lynette, and I'd have to look, but anyway, um, she told me to use kitchen shears because for years I've just been using the knives and stuff. But anyway, this has made, if you're watching, this has made my life so much easier when it comes to these chitlins. There goes another chitlin. It's just, I'm holding it up to the light. I have what you call a ring light. And they're just not nasty like that. Now, if I wanted to save on chitlins and things like that, I could pick them. So I see a little loose skin on it like that. I could just take that loose skin off, you know. Throw it away. Take it and put it in with my clean pile. But that's just, just not what I want to do. So anyway, I'm going to just... It's like skinning them. And I know a lot of people say, ooh, chitlins are so nasty. But what maybe some people don't understand is that if you eat sausage, like link sausage, you know, like breakfast sausage like that, this part of the chitlin, I think it's called the casing. And maybe, you know, y'all don't trust me. Look it up for yourself. But that thin, thin part, is what I throw away. But that is actually used to hold in your sausage and make your sausage links. And I thought that was a fun fact. I found that out recently. But anyway, just look at that skin just coming on the loose. Just coming on the loose. So I can clean five pounds in about maybe 30 minutes, you know, once my momentum picks up. In about 30 minutes, I'm going to say, we're going to say 45 pushing it. When usually it would have taken me about, oh, we're going to say, it may have taken me about an hour and a half to two hours for every five pounds that I cleaned before. So I'm just looking over that, that clean chitlin. And I will keep going, but at the end of the day, these chitlins are worth it. 
don't be cheap guys they cost a little bit more money look up um and this is how i found them because i searched on amazon i searched on bessie's website nobody had them there was no way for me to get these chitlins so what i end up doing is searching um grocers i believe i googled grocers that carry on um, bessie's chitlins call the grocer like boom and you know and i know they're readily available from what i understand in the midwest i don't know about down south but i'm gonna tell you that and so with that being said um thank you for watching this short video um reviewing the chillins and if you like the video or like my content please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to uh, comment share and give me a big thumbs up and in the meantime god bless and enjoy the rest of your day guys